Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. <laughs> I'm Jacob. And uh, today, it's only the two of us. A duo. A duo. A duo episode. Dwe- it's Doos Day. Dwe episode. It's Duos Day. Du- anyway. We're Nathan, doing an episode Nathan, just yeah. the two of us. Nathan's gone. Nathan's gone. What a <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> oh, nice. Good segue. <laughs> what we're doing today is something that I thought might be fun, and I've also seen it in the comments yeah, a few I times. I don't know like a specific person that suggested it, but yeah. I know that you've talked about it. Yeah, I, I talked about maybe doing this a few times, but let's test it out. What we're going to do is since Jacob and I draw so differently, is that before this episode, Jacob drew something cute and I drew something nightmarish, and we're going to try to to do the reverse on each other's drawings. Yeah, I'm going to make her nightmare into something cute. She's going to make my cute thing into something nightmarish. It's the nightmare cute challenge yes. or the cute nightmare challenge, depending on which way you'd like to phrase it. Yes. But one way is correct, and I won't tell you which one. <gasps> so... I did a drawing beforehand, and uh, Jacob's in the driver's seat, so Jacob's going to look at my nightmare and try to cute it up. I'm going to pull it up right now. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Wow, we Not what you expected, huh? No. I did one of those- um... How could it be what I expected? <laughs> I did one of those things where I kind of just zoned out and started drawing things. You sure did. This is so upsetting. Yeah. Okay, wow. Yeah. So I didn't have a, a super- Big amount of time to do this uh, before this recording, but um, I had fun with it. Yeah, and, clearly. Um, I tried to go in a, a little bit of a different direction, an unexpected direction, and um, it's really cool. It's a really thank cool you. design, and it's thank not. You. It is definitely not like yeah um, other things you've done. Yeah, you know, you've been playing a lot of Sekiro recently, and I've been watching you play all of it. Uh huh. And um, I recall. Yeah, and last night we got to some cave bits with some some bugoid creatures. There were some buggy. There were some some, some buggy, buggy boys humans. in there. Yeah, yeah, some buggy absolutely. humans. And um, I think I think that was on the brain because I was trying to kind of design like if humans were stuck in caves forever. Sure. You know? Yeah. If we only evolved within a cave. I like that. Yeah. So I tried to make a a, a cave dwelling evolved human there's also some definite like hollow knight vibes in here yeah true sort of, like the mask like face and the buggy parts yeah well the face you know i was referring to those like cave dwelling axolotls i forget what they're called but they're like axolotls that are completely smooth and have no eyes anymore yeah, I've and seen have some those. really they, long like, snouts evolved out of needing to see yeah and they're really pale and like somewhat translucent like you can see their their blood like their their veins and stuff underneath, and it's almost like you can see through them. It's really cool. Yeah, uh, that's really interesting. Neat. So I was kind of channeling that, and then those just god awful centipedes that live in caves. Yeah, I hate those. Oh, you're drawing like a, a Binding of Isaac kind of dealio right now. Yeah, I mean, I kind of thought if you want to make something cute, yeah. Step one, make it rounder. Yeah. Uh, step two, make it squatter. Yeah, I mean, this person already looks like a mushroom. Yeah, I was kind of trying to channel a bit of a mushroom shape as yeah. well. Um, I wonder, do I have to keep the expression? Um, I, Does it know, matter? I th- no, I don't think so. I think you can do whatever you want. I'm going to roll with it for now. Okay. And we're going to see see how it turns out. Because we got like little... Eh. Eh. Oh, he does already look so cute. Eh. That's the only noise I can think when I when I do these. Hi. Because it feels like he would have to talk with like a little bit of a lisp mm-hmm. because he's got too many centipede bits coming out of his mm-hmm. mouth. Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. you, you're going to eat all that? It's like a someone trying to talk with a load of fries in their mouth, you know? Yeah, totally. And there's drippies. Yeah, because that mouth cannot close. Yeah, it can't close all the way. So no, it's always just no kind of dripping. About that. Yeah. And then we've got, we kind of have these headlines here and sort of a nosy, nosy line. Yeah, like the nose is evolving out sure. a little bit, and yeah, like yeah. smoothing don't, out. Don't need it. We don't need those sniffers don't in Don't need cave. eyes, don't need nose. Sniffers, I guess you do need sniffers <laughs> Sniffers in might cave, huh? be actually pretty helpful. Yeah, it might be the most helpful. Well, I've done and mucked that up, huh? And I think I'm going to go with another, like, if we're going to make this a teaching moment yeah. as well. Uh, another tenet of making things cuter is simplification. Yeah. Uh, oh and, my God. and making shapes bigger. 
Yeah. So I'm going to go with one big shroom kind of coming out of where this eye would be. Yeah. And then I'll do some little ones sort of around it, but way less. Like you've been in a lot of detail here. Yeah. And they're kind of like growing off of each other. And it's really cool. Um, so cool that I'm going to not do it. That's fine. Because it goes against my nature as an artist. Yeah. I kind of um, just zoned out and was zoomed in and just kept drawing the same shape and like just moving up the canvas and repeating. Zone out and zoom in. Zone out and zoom in. Hey, kids. Are you having trouble drawing something unique and interesting? Zone out and zoom in. Zone out and zoom in. I do really like the way you did this shading. Thank you. So I'm going to mimic that uh, a little bit. I'm going to chunk in some shading here. My original plan was to put in some more detailed shading, like some some gradients and whatnot, but... I think uh, we can do that in like final renders. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, We don't need to have it done here for this portion. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll just have some lines here so you can tell that it's kind of like bulging out. Yeah. I'm going for like cute creepy. Yeah. I think Binding of Isaac is a good reference point. Hollow Knight's a good reference point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like things that are like creepy cute. Absolutely. So like it does scare you, but also you're kind of like, hey, little guy. Oh, hey there. Hey, little you buddy. Right? What are you doing? It's like uh, It's like ants. You're like, oh, you're so cute. But uh, they're having like a... Live ant lives are dramatic. Ant lives are dramatic. It's like you're so cute, but also please leave my house. They have like a monarchy. They have scouts. They have soldier ants. Like they got a whole hierarchy in there. Yeah, they've definitely know? got a whole like war going on that we're not. Yeah, we're not privy to. You just look at them and you're like, oh, look at you, you little round thing. Do you think that there's like some you know fourth dimensional creatures out there that are looking down at us saying the same thing? Probably. And look at them. They have like all these little armies and little battles and all these little problems that. Listen, I didn't sign up for Drawfee to have an existential crisis. All right. Oh, that's my bad. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. If we could avoid that, <laughs> that would be just splendid. See, it's not for a crisis. It's so you can say, look, you know, maybe my problems aren't so bad in the grand scheme of things. That's maybe true. Maybe things will be okay. Uh, yeah. So we got a little mushroom there. Just a couple hinted at shrooms back here. He almost looks like a like a little wooden peg doll. Yeah, kind of. Uh, you made the face sort of like mask y. A little bit, yeah. Um, so I kind of am keeping in in with that idea. And you don't have a body here. No, I think that's up for you to interpret. I did have little centipede uh, legs coming out the back. Yeah, but I you saw can do that. With that. Yeah, what we'll, you will. We'll get some of those. I have an idea of kind of what I want to do with this. I like the centipede legs on the back. And because, like you know, like you said, we've been we've been going through Sekiro. Yeah. And every time I'm playing like a FromSoft game, I always love sort of the uh, tragic implied stories of yeah. characters. You know. So I'm I'm kind of thinking in that vein, where like you see this character, and maybe the way he's, the way his person body is sitting seems to suggest, I don't, I don't want anything to do with harming you. Yeah. Um, but his bug body does want to harm you yeah so like you get you know you get close to it and the bug parts lash out yeah and the person parts kind of sit sit in here like i don't i'm sorry i, I didn't feel mean like to. i feel some sort of uh connection between us but uh bug parts not so much my bug I'm parts sorry. my bug parts don't seem to like you very much yeah. oh i like this little guy yeah. i could see this being like a, a steam game you know yeah I really was or like a like, switch nindy thinking like Hollow Knight NPC. Yeah. Uh, that you would find in sort of like an infested mushroomy area. Yeah. I'm um, just get some more drippies. Maybe there's like water dripping down from above. I'm sorry. I'm some, trying some to of just this, like splashing on the I'm trying not to get in the way. Splashing on the mushrooms. It kind of drips off of there. Yeah, there's some stalactites yeah. in there hanging out. Oh, I like this. I'm happy with this. Yeah, you did a great job. I wasn't super happy with my drawing, and then you came out and made something very cute and great out of it. So. I really like your drawing. I think your drawing is oh, awesome. Thank you. It's just not as spooky as I wanted it to be. He's just kind of eerie and weird. I think eerie and weird is, is just as good as spooky. Well, thank you. For all of you out there who might not be so spooky, but you are eerie and weird, I see you. We support you. And I support you, and I'm here for you. All right, what do you say we, we give you my cute thing? Yeah. And we see what you're able to turn it into. All right. 
All right, Julia, are you ready to see what cuteness is in store for you? Oh, I can't wait to ruin I it. I think this is going to be difficult to make frightening. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm really interested to see what you do. All right. Let's see. Boop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's the happiest little cowboy worm who ever existed. Why did we both do bugs? I, I don't know. Yours wasn't a bug. Well, I guess it kind of was a bug. Mine was a bug human cave dweller. Mine's just sort of bug in, in shape. He's got bug hands. Ass. He has hands and feet like a person, but six of them like an insect, but a body like a worm. I can't believe <laughs> cowboy has done it. <laughs> to my mind, there are a few things less spooky than a, a little cowboy outfit. Yeah. And so I really wanted to give you something and also a big silly mustache. Yeah. So I think you've got your work cut out for you. You definitely have to my mind, the harder job in this episode, because your job is additive, right. and my job is subtractive. I feel right. like it's easier to take away from what's already there, but I don't know. You, you're always good at this kind of thing, so I'm sure you'll... Julia finds a way. I'll figure it out. You've already got a really good shape here. Thanks. I, you know what I'm thinking of? I, you know, it's hard for me to draw something spooky now, because now I'm just thinking about those little puppy outfits I love so much of like the little cowboys. Yeah, I was kind of going for that yeah. feel. Yeah. The That's... feel of like an outfit a puppy would wear. Yeah. Okay, so I I got a worm shape in here. You do got a worm shape, and that's a good start. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do... I figured worm body might help you out a little bit, because there's definitely some spooky directions. Yeah. I um, Spooky, I tried... wormy directions. I tried to put in like a, a some human features. Originally, I was just going to do like human shape some sort of humanoid thing going on, but uh, I thought that would be cruel, so I put in some features back in. Uh, I appreciate that. To help you out, and I feel like uh, it has been returned in kind. With the worm body? With the worm body, <laughs> because good golly molly, this <laughs> cowboy outfit is going to be something. Because if you put a cowboy outfit on almost anything, it becomes cute. Yeah. It's like a hidden rule of cuteness. Because I can't imagine, or are you going to make the mustache into like a tooth stash? Well, now I'm debating if I want to do a whole, can I, do I have to do a whole worm body as you have done to yours? Or can I just do like the top of the worm? I mean, you can do whatever you want, I think. Because I think. But mm -hmm. if I don't see his bottom half, I'm going to assume he's wearing little boots. He's going to be wearing little boots. Okay. You know what? I'm going to get real in here. Okay, you want to go in. Yeah, I want to go in there because I feel like to horror things up, you really got to get some deets in there. Yeah, the horror is in the details. Yeah. You know, just it really lets you get into some folds. Oh, <laughs> my worm looks like he's going to eat yours. He does. It looks like they're interacting, like they're friends. It sort of looks like when in like a cartoon, you've got the little guy who's the fast talker. Yeah. And his big um, like bodyguard, brutish friend who's really a sweetheart uh, at heart. Yeah. Is your worm a sweetheart at heart? No. I mean, he could be, but I don't think so. I think that a problem we're going to run into yeah. is that anything placed next to this jovial cowboy worm is going to seem more harmless by yeah. association. It's like if you see this jovial cowboy worm come to town, whoever's with them, you're like, well, they can't be so bad. Yeah. I'm trying. So, okay. Little earthwormies. Yeah. Adorable. Aww. Not so adorable. Ringwormies. Hookwormies. Oh, yeah. Any worm that has that ho the horrible mouth. <laughs> Any worm that has them horrible teats. Yeah. And that big hole. I don't like the big hole. I don't either. It's it's just real creepy. So I'm trying to get in that like kind of aesthetic going on. You know, aesthetic. That's the right word that I'm looking for for worm teeth. Okay. I realized I was being too precious and we had to move on. So I'm. Kind of cutting in there. <laughs> this worm needs braces. <laughs> <laughs> the spookiest thing of all, bad <laughs> dental. I haven't brushed in years. Have you ever tried to buy a toothbrush for a worm? It doesn't work. No one sells them. Please. Please. Someone make me a just like a a spin a spin pro for a worm. A they don't a spin pro. A spin pro. <laughs> I don't think that's a brand of toothbrush. That's the name of my toothbrush that I use, the Spin Pro. Because it spins 
professionally like a dentist. Dentist, no <laughs> <to> spinning. <laughs> You're going down a hole here where I cannot follow you into this weird worm dentistry. <laughs> oh, now I really want to see a worm dentist. Okay. Do you know how many worm orthodontists there are? Zero. They don't let worms into orthodontist school on account of we don't typically have hands. So I became a cowboy. <laughs> they do let worms into cowboy school. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone could be a cowboy. You can't prove I've never been in a saddle on a cow. Saddle on a cow? A saddle on a cow? You're not supposed to ride the cow. What? <laughs> I thought that's what cowboys did. Uh, Why did they call them cowboys then? I thought that's what... Ah, uh, uh, dang it. I think what this worm's deal is that he is actually huge. Uh-huh. So this is just like a big old dude. So I'm intrigued to see where you go from here. Yeah, you've given me a hard one, you know? This is a difficult one. I was kind of thinking maybe there's like elements that you could incorporate into the worm body. Like if you put a cowboy hat on this worm, it's going to be silly. Right. But if you evoke a cowboy hat through some sort of protrusions or appendages. Right. You know, perhaps we can remain in spooky town where we want to live. Well, no, I, I definitely want him to be wearing a cowboy hat. You want him to be wearing like, a cowboy hat. I feel like you've given me a challenge that I cannot back away from. I don't think it's possible to make something wearing a cowboy hat scary. I think it is. So let's just get some bones sticking out of this guy. Like he's been eating some peoples. He's a bone worm. He just lives on. Wow, in between each and every tooth, you've caught a bone. Just, I can't get toothbrushes. <laughs> Come on, it's really hard to get <laughs> dental floss. All right. So get that in there. So I think, you know, part of his deal with all of his, like, eating of people. So I'm going to draw, like, a little. So you're going to suggest that he ate a cowboy at some point. Yeah, basically. But Is there a little skull up there? Yeah, he's going to be, like, covered in them. But I thought we should get the important one out of the way. So there's a there's going to be a cowboy. <laughs> 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 the implication here. Yeah is that he somehow managed to eat and digest a human head, but not the cowboy hat that was on well, the head. No, not necessarily. Maybe the skull, uh, you know, uh, 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 um, maybe it like rotted away, you know, the skin and the flesh and, and stuff like that. But the hat was made of stronger stuff. Yeah. It remained on through the rotting process. Oh, he looks happy to be there. I'm not going to do that. And no amount of movement this worm has done. Like, he's putting it back on. The worm puts the hat back on? Yeah. Onto the skull? Yeah. Well, he's got armies. He's got little arms. Oh, yours will also have arms. Well, yeah. Okay. You've also set the challenge to me that he's going to have arms. <laughs> what? Now, what's happening here? I think, like, you know, a little bandana got caught. Got caught on the bone. Got so this is just a worm that eats cowboys. It's just a worm that like is is trying his best. Maybe he lives in like a, a tight. He's like too big for the space that he lives in. You know, so there's not a lot of room to maneuver in. You know, so but don't make him sympathetic. We're supposed to be scared of him. Well, just think about being in a cave and you're like, oh, the worst thing that could happen is a bear, and then this asshole pops out, just covered in in. Human bits. Covered in cowboy bits. And you're like, every cowboy that's been in here is, has died Yeah. to this worm. And I'm not even a cowboy. What, what chance do I have? I think I want to change the positioning of my worm. Okay. I want him to be really just hunched over. Well, I think, like, I definitely went, you know, worm-human hybrid. Yeah. I think you could even, like, human up the body a little more. Like a gross, flabby. Ah, uh, Jacob, you've called my card, huh? Is that where you're headed? Yeah. I think that's a good call. I think that's a good idea. Way to way to spoil it. So that way, his little grabby he can hunch over with his grabby hands. I am hands. nothing if if not strong with the element of surprise. But here we are. Well, listen, we're working on it together. You know, I want you to succeed. So we're doing an earthworm gym situation. Kind of. Yeah, I want. This would be like if earthworm gym were real. Yeah. So let's scrunch that up. The little skull with a cowboy hat on his head is so funny. Because <laughs> he's like he's trying to wear the hat, but can't get it out of the skull. I don't know how hats work. 
Peace. He just put the whole head on his head. Yeah. But it's almost like scary in the sense of like, you know, like if there's like a really big, strong, like scary enemy, mm-hmm. but it doesn't know that it's doing bad. Right. It's just like trying to do its thing, but it's too strong and powerful, so it ends up ripping people apart. The worms kind of got that vibe. Like he just wanted the hat. Right. But ripped off a head, but didn't realize he did a bad. I thought this is how fashions worked. Just this... stuck it on top and then went back to his, his wormy business. Yeah. I think I want I think I want him like I don't know, maybe gonna go over like a twist, a twisty look. Yeah, so it's like his head, this like worm head has somehow been birthed from his his body. Like maybe he had a human skull at some point and then it he lost his head. You know, like he was decapitated and then this grew in its stead. Oh, so you it's know? like an like an infested body situation. Yeah. Like Resident Evil 4. Yes. Like you bless someone blasted it off the head and this worm came out. Yeah. I like that. That's cool. And the whole body has had to like adapt from it. You oh, know? you could stick it on a shambler. On a shambler? Make it like a, a shambly worm zombie. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. I like these twisties. Thanks. When in doubt, throw in some twisties. That's the Julia way. That's the Julia way. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the, um, you know that gif? I think it's from like Mass Effect where there's like a glitch. And yes. like Commander Shepard's turning around and his head spins around like four times. Yeah. Be like, what did you say? What did you say to me? It looks like the worm just did that. Like you came in the back door and the worm's head spun around five times to look at you. Yeah. Be like, excuse me? You got something to say? Yeah. Okay, so I want. Oh, I like that line. Yeah, I want like. I want him to be like kind of hunched. Oh, yeah. Hunched into it. Hello. Yeah, that's good. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of a good hunch and twist. The hunch and twist. It's the dance craze sweeping the nation. The hunch and twist. This dude looks jacked now. He does look jacked. And I can't tell if I like that. I think I want him to be really pretty gaunt. Oh, you're going for gaunt. Yeah. Okay. Gaunt's, Gaunt's a spooky look. It is a spooky look. Because you just like, oh, that's a, that's right. We're all made of skeletons. It does remind you. We got bones in there. That we're all made of skeletons. So Worm is just wearing a vest and a... Yeah, he's wearing a vest and a bandana and then little boots. Okay. Am I going to be giving him a vest? Is that what I should do? I think you could evoke a vest with tatters. Okay, I see. Tatters of clothes once worn that... yeah you know, kind of drape over the shoulders. Yeah, 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 I like that. Do not put a literal vest on this guy, because again, the, the clothing items I gave you are the, the crux of this challenge. How do you make a, a vest and a bandana and a tiny cowboy hat spooky? How do you make it spooky? Tatters. Tatters is a good way. Hard to go wrong with tatters, because much like seeing a gaunt skeleton person reminds yeah. you that you're just a skeleton, Yeah. seeing a tattered vest reminds you that someday your vest too will be tattered. <gasps> But I love that vest. Exactly. It's the scariest thing of all. That's a very pointy shoulder. And you're going to have to find another vest, and maybe it won't fit as well. No. Then I'll have to go out amongst the humans and buy more clothing. And more I hate clothing. That. I, want him to, I want you to just be able to see, like, his sternum. Oh, yeah, that's cool. You know, and, or, and just, like, some skin really tightly pulled over. I like that. Okay. Very leathery, I imagine. Yeah. Hardened, leathery skin from slithering around in a cave. Yeah. So does that mean that like the ripped jeans look is spooky and then that why it's cool? Because you're like, so. I'm wearing the spookiness. Yeah, I you think know, so. I'm owning it. That's why I wear ripped jeans is because I want to frighten people with the yeah. prospect of their jeans mortality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Someday your jeans are going to rip and it's about time everyone faced that. You may as well own it. Uh, ripped jeans or like own a pair of ripped jeans or own, Both. own the fact that okay. all of it you may as well all of it man this challenge was hard I didn't think it would be so hard but you you gave me a cute cowboy I think like maybe he's got like some extra feelers up here to indicate that little mustache he has just sort of like stick him out yeah or maybe it's like you're like are those feelers or are those a second row teeth that are growing in yeah, because like I don't, I can't imagine how those teeth are helpful. You're like, well, that row is definitely feeling in any way. And I think I want him to have some like history to him. Like people have been trying to hunt him for a really long time. A bunch know? of cowboys have been trying to hunt him. A bunch of cowboys have been trying to hunt him. Clearly. So and that's a mistake. He was once a cowboy himself. He knows all the cowboy tricks. I like this sort of 
this like you know marked up look like someone's been trying to take shots at him it just bounces off his hardened hide yeah he's been in the cave for so long which i think is actually the opposite i think everything that dwells in a cave is really soft and squishy yeah i think that's also true but not this guy not this guy this guy's evolved beyond to that this was difficult <laughs> <laughs> well i like this worm not friend that you've made. Certainly not a friend. This worm foe. Worm, worm perhaps. Foe. Yeah, perhaps. I do like your cowboy here. Your worm cowboy. Howdy, partner. He was really cute and really welcoming, and he looks like he'd be the sheriff of a cute little worm town, like a a busy world of Richard Scarry adjacent yeah, sort of thing. Probably. Um. I imagine that this thing you've drawn is his son. Dad, I want to go to baseball. <laughs> Now, son, you know when you try to go to baseball, everyone screams and runs baseball. away. Baseball! You can't play baseball with the other kids. You you have a giant twisty worm head and a, and a horrible flesh body. You keep eating their dads. You keep eating their, their dads. Every time you get upset, you eat their dads. <laughs> Every time you get upset, you eat someone's dad, and that's a problem. Imagine that's... if your dad, me, got eaten. How would you feel? Not good. That's exactly right. You're learning. Don't eat any more dads. Baseball. The dad hunter. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, I don't know. I think I did it. Is this I, I think spooky? you did it. I think it's spooky. The only thing that's not spooky is that skull with the cowboy hat sitting on top of his head like a little a little ornament. Should I get rid of it? A little head and ornament. And replace it? There's got to be something. It's very cute is the problem. It's very okay. endearing. He's got like... They're they're so smooth up in the caves, but like maybe he's got some like ridges going on that Oh, this kinda of looks like he slicked back his hair. He wants to look fancy. <laughs> he's going on his first date. Prom <laughs> I wanna go to prom. Last time you went to prom you ate every teacher and every teacher's dad. <laughs> Don't even know how you found half of them. Prom. <laughs> yeah, I think this is good. I think you did well. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to find that sweet spot between them being real real slick looking but also get get in some some creepy bumpies in there okay yeah M mostly i don't want to touch this and that's the appropriate reaction i think i think i don't want to touch it because it has a bend in it that makes it look like a finger it does kind of look like a finger and, and that I upsets me that, as well but um that is genuinely upsetting a big wormy finger that i hate yeah i want to bring these ridges up a little bit more just so they read a little bit better and less like a tangent there we go and bring this bring his head in a little bit yeah yeah i think we're uh just about done here yeah thanks for watching everybody this was our nightmare cute slash cute nightmare challenge yep 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 let us know in the comments if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing or if anything else in this vein you could think of that we could possibly do. I think this is a really fun idea. I'd like to do another one of these sometime. Heck yeah. Also, let us know in the comments just if you like the video and want to tell us an, a nice thing. I love to see nice things. I love to see nice things in the comments. This would also be a good time to shout out uh, mine and Julia's video game stream. Yeah. Uh, called Secret Sleepover Society on Twitch. Yes. Uh, go give us a follow. We stream every week, Wednesdays and Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we play just a wide variety of things, normally have a real good ass time. Yeah, and we tweet about it. We have a, a Secret Sleepover Society Twitter, I think it's. Yeah, follow us there. Yeah. Follow us wherever. Come check it out if you want come to. Come check it out. It's just a fun, casual time. And as always, we're sorry. Sorry. <laughs>